In this short tutorial, you are going to learn how multicollinearity can be tested in eViews. Okay, so this is the data file I'm going to use. I have already imported the data and uh, here you can see the variable. This is time series data starting from 1983 till 2014. I'm going to check whether multicollinearity exists in this model or not. So before that, I have to first estimate the equation. So in order to estimate equation, go to quick estimate equation. And here you have to specify the regression equation. In this case, my dependent variable is GDP. So first you have to write dependent variable followed by constant and independent variables. So my dependent variable is GDP. C is the intercept or constant then FDI, remittance and imports are my independent variables. Okay, all set. Now press OK. So the regression equation is estimated. Here are the results. But before reporting the results, I am going to first check multicollinearity that whether these independent variables are actually independent or they are linked with each other. So let's see how multicollinearity can be detected. Go to view, coefficient diagnostic and here you can see variance inflation factors. Click this. Now for interpretation, you have to report centered VIF values. In this case, according to the centered VIF values, um, all the variables, FDI, remittances and imports, all the variables have lesser than 10 value. As we already know that variance inflation factor should be less than equal to 10. If the value is greater than 10 or 10, it means there is severe multicollinearity exists in the model and we have to first fix it. But in this case, the values are lesser than 10, 10. It means there is no severe multicollinearity in the model and we can proceed. Thank you.